Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I'm not joking, this is literally Vera's largest joker wrench and Vera's smallest joker wrench. So what these things are, uh, if you didn't watch my previous video or don't know much about these, is they are a camming adjustable wrench. You can see how that uh, blade thickness there expands from 32 or 24 to 32 millimeters. So it's a pretty good size. And what I think is important here is understanding this is infinite. This isn't a lot of settings. It's very much like an adjustable wrench. Uh, and these guys here uh, basically allow a camming process to take place uh, as you're using it. So if I put it on this thing, you can see I could tighten this. It's a big threaded nut and then slide it and it clicks and back and forth. Now, is this the strongest wrench in the world? No, it's not supposed to be. It's uh, probably one of the more handy wrenches. And so why do I want these things? Um, well, I played around with one earlier. Uh, that was this guy. This was, this is, every one of them has, by the way, the number 6004 and then a letter. This stands for small. This stands for extra small. So these are just like t-shirts. And then of course, something like this, what would it be? It'd be the XXL, extra, extra large. Um, I don't think they make anything bigger or smaller. I haven't been able to find it, but what do I want them for? Well, first of all, let me jump way back in history. Had to dig through to find this. This is a clinch wrench. It's made by Craftsman. Uh, what kind of, I would have put this more into my Christmas wrenches category. Um, it's pretty handy um, for basic things. It uses kind of stamped steel that's riveted together. This is how they made their robo wrenches as well. It's not super precise. It does have a fairly big range uh, if you compare it. So on the small end, oops, on the small end, it's about the same as the uh, small Vera Joker here. And then if you expand it, it obviously goes beyond what the Joker can. Um, I'd rather have a Joker though. Uh, so th this clench wrench, clench wrench, here you can see the 42305 made in USA. Um, it is kind of handy. I mean, it's a, it's a useful it's not really a gimmick, but it's it has its limitations. One of them is grip. Obviously, it doesn't grip as well as a, a full-on um, open-end or combination wrench or socket. But the Vera, because of the camming mechanism, uh, the way it works at the handle level um, is pretty incredible. And large, thick jaws, way, way beefier and... Uh, I think more more effective than than the old school. I should throw this out there. Here's another version of a similar thing. This is the Knipex Raptor. This Raptor also has that camming mechanism. Um, what I like about the Raptor is you can go either direction right away. Um, you can adjust this, you know, to try to get the optimum gripping position. Um, this is just too big. You can see it slides over there. Click it down one. And that's about right. It would allow you full, as closed as you can get the handle, which gives you better grip. But as I move it, I can then, or I do it this way, you can see how I can just release and move it. And I can go in either direction. This would probably be the strongest direction where I'm putting the greatest force on the solid piece. So this is actually really handy. And of course, if you look at the, uh, the capabilities from this size here, which is about the same as the small, the, the small joker wrench to this size here. And that's, you know, there's a little bit of variability here, but what am I working with? I'm working with something even greater than that Vera. However, this does have limitations in terms of the depth. So one of the things that I plan on using this for is I'm gonna be building some pergolas this summer. Um, those are basically wood structures over a awning, kind of like an awning in a backyard or something. And I tend to use a large hardware, much larger actually than this, um, to, hold, to bolt them together. And that's more aesthetics than just holding the, you know, six by sixes or four by fours to large wood. 
Um, but a lot of times there's just a lot of cranking and some of the times you're way down here so you're going to need a long socket. Um, I just find uh, the sockets work great but I often need something on the other end that's really handy really fast and I learned that from this guy because a lot of times I would end up uh, having um, say a screw that I wanted to um, screw down here but I needed to grab the, the uh, nut on the other end of whatever I was doing. Well, this allows me to do that. Um, this would be in a workpiece, obviously, but it allows me to do this um, quite easily without having to struggle trying to line up a wrench, or if I don't have the right wrench with me, I might have metric. A lot of these bolts are SAE, you know, and I, I might be feeling in the back, did I get it or not? You know, or trying to line this up, or I can't tell if it's slipping. Um, that's where I started using this, just as a blind holding mechanism, and it worked great. I went smaller, so now I've got everything from seven to 13. Uh, you can see that, seven or quarter inch to half inch, seven millimeter to 13 millimeter within just these two. Um, but then I jumped way up, um, partially to get the largest, but partially because I, that's often what I'm doing is I'm working with nuts this size, and that actually fits in there. So I can um, work. I don't have the camming at the, at the extreme, um, but I have the grabbing. Actually, I, I, I've got the camming at this point. If I go any larger, I won't. And this is the largest nut I use. So that's what I can do is actually hold this um, and either use it as the camming mechanism kind of like a ratchet or i can just reach up behind my workpiece and then use my regular tool whatever that is to snug this up without having to fight and oftentimes all it takes because i've got a lock washer on it is you know just a a small gripping thing and i can go quite small with this i don't know if i can go this small yeah that's my little craftsman one i love this thing this craftsman professional with narrow jaws USA. Anyway, um, but a lot of times I'm just grabbing something small. All I need to do is get a little friction on it and then the, uh, the mechanism of the lock nut or, or if I'm using a nylon washer, um, I just have to overcome that strength there. But anyway, that's what I'm after is uh, being able to roll that. And if you look at the size of this thing, uh, even though it has a mechanism, even though it has the ability, you know, to kind of fail, it's got a spring. Um, I've heard these can break. Um, I have not experienced anything with this one, and I've I put some effort into it, um, and it seems pretty solid. Um, obviously, you're not going to be hitting it with a hammer, but overall, um, for a real convenient wrench, I, I enjoyed exploring this guy. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to using it. I did notice there is a, when you get up to a handle this size, you start to feel that thinness there. Um, you don't notice it as much on the small one, but as you can see, they're not terribly different. And this is a bit of a bigger wrench. So when I choke up on it, um, it is, uh, if I start applying a little bit of effort to it, you do feel that it is fairly narrow. How does that compare to a snap-on though? You know, you can see it's not, not terribly far off. This is actually a little rounder and a little thicker. Um, but you get out here, and this is a, a um, solid forged handle there, um, or however they made that. Um, anyway, so it's, it's got a good grip once you get to the swell. It's a little, little sharp at this end. Um, and the price-wise is, is not too bad. Um, kind of surprised me. When I looked it up, um, I thought that, you know, for a large wrench for German quality, um, I assume German, that's an interesting question. Are these made, or wherever, German of the Czech Republic? I don't see it. Anybody know? I just made that assumption. I don't see it on this one anywhere. Some marks in there. Vera usually brands their stuff as made in Germany with pride. Huh. Anyway, well, who knows now where these come from. Maybe Taiwan. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I like the design. The more I use these things, the more I realize they really do have their place. The Vera Jokers, I don't know 
they're kind of cute name, but the Vera Jokers are actually, um, to me, a, a separate tool class. They fit in um, different than a, an adjustable wrench, different than the Novelties, different than the Knipex Raptor. Um, they're their own area, their own space in the wrench community, um, and definitely uh, worth taking a look at. And with that, Doc out.